Hello folks, uh, the, today's video is to show you how to get through the initial Varnal Studio setup process so that new users can get up and running quickly. So let's have a look at that. This is the first thing that you'll see when you start Varnal Studio up for the first time, the uh, startup wizard. And this will take you through the process of creating a collection, which is how your albums are organised. A collection is a collection of albums. So here we just click Next. And here we can enter a name. Uh, you can call the collection anything you like, just something that means something to you. Uh, it's most common to only have one collection but you can create more so you might have a look at your rack of records and try and form some idea of how many collections you might have or you might just go with it and start with the one the other thing you might want to do in here is change the folder where that collection is stored uh, because that's where your recordings will go and you might want to put those in particular on an external drive. It's quite common to want to do that these days. So let's go through that process just to show you. Change folder. Here's a list of folders on the machine. Scroll down to this PC. Here's a list of drives. I'm going to create a collection on drive F. I will create a new folder at this point so that if I do create more than one collection they're all grouped together so make new folder give it a suitable name and click OK and so it now says here your collection will be saved in folder F Vinyl Studio Recordings, which is what we wanted. So now we can just click Next and then Finish. And we're up and running. So the next thing to do is to create an album. You can't do anything until you've done that. So click on Create Album. You need to enter the artist and title. That's required. Those are the things that identify the album in the collection. There's some other information you can enter if you want to, or uh, leave it blank if that's what you want. Then click OK and the album is created. Tasman Archer Blue. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure that the uh, record deck, the signal from the record deck is making it into the computer and also that the computer speakers are correctly configured so that you can hear what's going on. And we can also set the recording level, which uh, you might want to change from one album to another, depending. And we do all that in the check level window. So here in this drop down is a list of all the input devices that are available. So what I'm going to do is set something playing, see whether we get a signal. Am I a part of the lazing? All the lazing you let go. Who needs to know? So that seems okay, the level looks about right. <clears throat> Uh, if you don't hear anything or if the recording level meters don't move, 
select each of the devices in this drop down until you find the right one. And if you don't see the one that uh, you think you should see, uh, check your USB connection. That's the most common reason for not seeing it. The other thing you might want to do while you're in here is to change the playback device if you're not hearing any audio. You can do that with the change playback device button. And again in this drop down, playback 2, uh, there's a list of available devices. The default device is often the right one, um, but there's a good reason to actually specify the one you want explicitly because the default device sometimes changes and uh, that might stop it working in Vinyl Studio. So I happen to know that I want this Sennheiser USB headset. So I'm going to select it then click test. And if you hear something you've got the right one and if you don't you can try another one and so on. Alright, so we're now done with the check level window. We can close that. We've created our album and we're ready to record it. Uh, a couple of other things though. Uh, this box here, wait for needle down, uh, if that's checked, this one, sorry, if that's checked then Vinyl Studio will stop recording automatically at the end of the album side which is useful if you've got a turntable that lifts the needle um, because then you don't have to stick around while the album is recorded which is obviously uh, helpful. The other checkbox in here while we're looking is this one record all sides as one file if it's checked, Vinyl Studio will pause rather than stopping at the end of side one. You can turn the record over and resume recording and you end up with one file for the entire album. If it's not checked, you'll end up with one file for each album side. There are pros and cons. Um, one big file is probably what most people would prefer because it makes audio cleanup a bit simpler. You can do it all in one go. So let's start the recording going. Click on the record button uh, and if you watch the yellow box you will see some text flash past saying what Vinyl Studio is doing so keep an eye on that when I click this button which I'm going to do right now. So what it did was um, give the uh, input device, the ADC so called, a couple of seconds to settle. Sometimes they generate a big noise sp spike when, when you turn them on. Um, then it measured the uh, needle up level, which it hopes is silent, silence, so you don't want the record playing until you get this message, waiting for needle down, please lower the needle. So let's do that. Am I a part of the latest thing? All the latest thing you let go. Who needs to know? Okay, so uh, when, when it heard the audio start coming in, Vinyl Studio started recording. Now it's noticed that uh, everything's gone quiet again and it says counting down and if that reaches zero or when that reaches zero we get this message recording has been paused because the end of the album side has been reached and this is the opportunity to turn the album over and record side two. I'm not actually going to do that 
but that's what you would do in practice and if you've got more than one more than two sides you can do side three and side four in the same way and when you get to the end of the last album side that you want to record you can click cancel and that's what I'm going to do here <laughs> So there we are, we have our recording, just the one, just the 42 seconds in this case, since we're just, uh, this is just a demo, but um, that's it really, that's all there is to it. Uh, there's a, There are separate videos on this channel about track splitting and audio cleanup and uh, we should probably make one about burning CDs, although that's actually very straightforward. So we'll put that on our to-do list. Other than that, we're done. Thank you for listening.